They always talk about forever home, and this is for sure a forever home. Movie star Gary Sinise just helped give a life-saving gift to a wounded veteran. 10 News military reporter Hannah Mullen shows us how the new Fallbrook house is anything but ordinary. I was so young. What if Nick Kimmel could turn back time? I want to go back. Would he have taken the baseball scholarship over his fight for freedom? I lost my legs. He lost a sense of his own freedom. When you have to rely on someone else all the time, it gets cumbersome. I almost feel like I'm uh, like burdening them. Even simple things like taking a sip of water are tougher. I always leave my blinds closed because it's a pain to open and close them, so my house is always so dark. He's been so frustrated at times, he screamed out loud. My wheelchair is like three foot wide and almost banging into walls and smacking my hand on a door jam. It's, it hurts. The Gary Sinise Foundation decided it was time for a change. Uh, it's pretty fantastic, not gonna lie. It's a smart home, so with the touch of an iPad, you can do things like turn off the lights. The blinds are all automated with the iPad, and this house is so light. That may make the days a little less dark, but was it really worth it? If you wind the clock 10 years before I signed up and they said, hey, on this day you're gonna lose your legs, I would still sign up for the Marine Corps. He says it's because of the camaraderie, which is bigger than a single branch or battle. Every time I see someone with a Vietnam, Dom Hat, I'll try to thank him. I won't give up. During that ceremony, you had some tears in your eyes. What was going through your mind? Uh, just gratitude, I guess. Because he has his freedom back. Hannah Mullins, 10 News.